Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Rose Sohal and you are watching Arkan Times Daily English News. Today is 8 February 2024. Today's news headlines. A heavy clash broke out between Arkan Army and Border Guard Police of Mema. Military Council ignited a Rohingya village in Butidong. MEA issues warning to Indian citizens living in Arkana State to leave immediately. The U.S. Secretary of State will visit the Middle East again regarding the Israel-Hamas conflict. Details of the news. A heavy clash broke out between Arkan Army and Border Guard Police of Mema around Tompio area in Mema, Bangladesh border and it has been ongoing since the last 4th February at around 2 o'clock at night. And it's still ongoing and it resulted many loss from both sides and finally Border Guard Police of Mema had to leave their sectors battalion and BGP escaped into Bangladesh and took refuge in Bangladesh. Since the beginning of the clash, more than 327 border guard police of Mema escaped from their battalions and took refuge in Bangladesh, and their auto spot and ammunition were captured by Arkan Army AA. In the first day of clash between Arkan Army AA and border guard police of Mema on 4th February, 14 BGP members of Mema escaped from their auto spot and took refuge in Bangladesh, and the next day on 5th February, 95 BGP members of MEMA also escaped and took refuge in Bangladesh. And after the next day on 6 February, approximately 200 BGP members of MEMA escaped from their hotspot and took refuge in Bangladesh. On 7 February, again 63 BGP members of MEMA escaped and took refuge in Bangladesh. Amongst the escaped BGP members of MEMA, 15 BGP members were injured and 8 were seriously injured and they are receiving medical care in Khosbazar and Chittagong hospitals in Bangladesh, in accordance of the Bangladesh News Channel. In a statement of Arkan Army AA, it is mentioned that AA stops attack two hotspots of BGP of MEMA and they are left hotspot of Tombu and right hotspot of Tombu. And both of them were completely captured after a period of heavy fight between. And Arkan Army AA was air struck by Mema Military Council too. Arkan Army AA also stated that they have captured many weapons and ammunition from both support of BJP of Mema. According to the reports, more than three host community of Bangladesh died after being hired by the motor shell that are either from BGP of MEMA or Arkan Army AA. And many more are injured and some are slightly injured and some are heavily injured. And the residents of the border area are afraid of living in their homes, buildings and villages due to the frequently falling the motor shells over them. It is known that a Rohingya village called Kingdom of Budidong Township was completely burned down to ashes by Mema Military Council on the last 7th February at around 8.27 o'clock at night. A resident of Kingdom informed to Arkan Times that Mema Military Council started firing weapons toward Rohingya villages called Kingdom, Yesheping and Ulape and it was at around 8.27 o'clock at night. And it resulted in Rohingya village partially burned down to ashes and other villages were also burned down. He also went to say that in those villages there is remain very few Rohingya and most of the villages were evaluated to the neighboring villages and they took refuge to the surrounding villages. Due to the continuous gun shooting and gun firing, the villagers are unable to work and facing hardship to carry family members in Arkana State. As the prices of the goods are in place after the first resumption between Arkan Army and Military Council in Arkana State, people can't afford to buy materials as they can't access to work. So the people of Arkana State are requesting to international humanitarian aids and organizations to aid or support them so that they can carry their livelihood in gold. 
On February 6, the Ministry of External Affairs MEA of the Government of India issued a warning to Indian citizens living in Arkana State where the fighting is raging to leave immediately and not to travel or mob to Arkana State. The deteriorating security situation in Arkana State, the MEA, Ministry of External Affairs, has warned all Indians not to travel to Memas, Arkana State, due to the deterioration of communication channels, including landlines and shortage of essential goods. Therefore, Indian citizens living in Arkana State are advised to leave the state immediately. U.S. Secretary of State Antonio Blinken traveled to the Middle East on the last February 5 to push for a ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war and peace in the Gaza Strip, according to international press reports. In addition to the West Bank, Saudi Arabia, the U.S. Secretary of State's visit to push for a ceasefire and peace in the Gaza Strip. Egypt, he will visit Qatar and Israel. Blinken said, Diplomatic effort would continue to reach an agreement, including a humanitarian pause, that would allow the release of all remaining hostages held by Hamas and increased humanitarian aid to civilians in Gaza. AFP news agency reported that the Israeli military, believed to be hiding high-ranking Hamas officials, attacked areas east of Rafah and the city of Khan Yunis as they, re they returned to the region to push for a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. At least 128 people, including women and children, were killed in the Israeli attack. In addition, the Israeli army informed that it carried out raids in northern and central Gaza, as well as air raids in Khan Yunis city in southeast Gaza. Thanks for watching our content's daily English news.